created uh, i have put in uh, the last part of it but i will also have the same document i will open uh, to show you what was part of it for the people who did not get a chance to go through it i'm not going to go through it uh, completely guys because it, it may take some time so i am trying to only show you the document and it's up to you and whether you wanted to read through it or not it is just like four or five pages not more so it is data services oh, there is a spelling mistake data service object uh, definition but if you get into it you will see a little more than I, I mean i don't think there is a little more it is exactly the object definitions i have put in there saying these are all the different objects so data services objects are projects jobs workflows scripts data flows data flows r3 data flows real time data flows custom web app program these are all the objects and i have put the definition as project uh, everything for for each of them what is a, a definite a definition for them is being put in there this is most of them is like um, i try to make it uh, short and sweet by using uh, simple terms so the last part of it is the flat file definition which we saw last week and most probably if i have any more definitions or guidelines i will start improving this document i will expand this document so finally it is uh, developers technique why i have uh, put the it as tips and tricks is tips and tricks there are nothing as of now but in future they'll come up but if you see here i have put in stay saying creating a new data flow how to create it that you need to have a target and you have need to have a source source can be anything target can be any database or or even a flat file and you can do a drag and drop with the query transform and you're done so it's a little document just to know you uh, just to make you understand what are all the object definitions are the objects we are using so when we create a repository these are the exact tables that are getting generated in the same way i have put my my own schema here finding underscore local training underscore central i mean for central repository there are a set of tables which may be different from the local repository if you see these are the central repository here. and i do have a module called profiler which will come up soon but i don't have it right now and i have ods which we'll be using as our source because the tutorial will guide you to use ods as your source and data warehouse as your target so we'll first in the uh, not to confuse i will go in the same mode and then we will start looking at more so right now i am using this as my repository actually data services that was being installed when i install data um, uh, when i when i install the designer or the software the entire software there is a little bit of problem for me creating more than one odbc connectivity but that is anyhow not a very important point at this time and the important point we'll have to talk about is we'll have to create a source and a target as per the instructions given uh, given in the tutorial where does the source and target objects definitions uh, we can find so if we go into program files this is the folder which it will be right by, by default program files is this but business objects installs this as a new uh, folder when you install the software and you will find everything under it so you go into data services and under data services you have tutorial files these are uh, the scripts which they provide for for the uh, for the usage in the database so if you run these scripts it it creates you uh, all the required tables and it will also insert data so for example let us open one of these and then see what all we have so for MySQL, we'll have to use the ODS underscore ODBC. So I will just show you the file how it looks like. It is a very simple SQL file in which you have all the stable definitions. So we can actually take the same thing and then uh, run it in our uh, MySQL environment. It should be able to create you all these tables and it will also insert data. 
So I'm going to take the same and run it in my ODS. So I go to the workbench and I So there is one one problem for us now. Uh, I don't know if they, it, it has an um, the owner name preceding to the table definition. So let me look at it. Create the table. So you have it, but but then I think I should be giving ODS dot the table name so that it gets created as ODS. ODS dot. That's the schema name, guys. Whatever I am doing, this is the same thing you guys have to do. We can actually run it as a script fully, but then you will have to configure in that way. If we have the table, it will try to drop, but we don't have the table. So I'm trying to create this table. So I selected it and I'm saying execute. Let us see if it works. It should create a table for me. Okay, so the table got created. In the same way, I will have, uh, let me check one time if the table is created or not. So it should be in this schema. I'll have to refresh it and hmm, see, I, I don't see the table here. Hmm. So though I created it as ODS dot ODS delivery, uh, it should actually come up here, but I don't see it. Let me try one other thing. ODS dot. So this is how you create a table in any database. You will have the same kind of a a create statement and in the database language this is called as a DDL data definition language so it is executing properly um, let me see if it is getting created somewhere else it's ODS underscore customer so let me see if it got created anywhere else because I'm, I'm appending schema name, it should not go anywhere else. So, mm. I don't see it. Okay, here is the refresh button guys, it got created. You see now it came up uh, when I try to refresh. So in the same way, I will create whatever the tables that are being uh, suggested or, or provided by data services and you can also do the same thing when you start the installation. The first thing we'll do is we'll do the data services installation and we go uh, to the, this particular place where we find the scripts if you want to write your own script, yes, you can do that, but then it will take a little time for you to, uh, to uh, type in all this create statement. So uh, I think better we use, and also I will share, just in case you want, I will share all this with you. So I'm creating all the tables. It, it is not more than, six tables I think so we should be done in one minute and why I wanted to show you it is I would have created it long back but I wanted to show you so that you you can use these tables and you can configure on your mission or even when we have the server it is all you're going to have your independent repositories and uh, logins so you can go create a schema for you you can you can do whatever you want you should be 
uh, very much familiarized with the database when you wanted to work on um, uh, ETL tools. So, so after you create the second thing, the, the insert statements, if you see here, what I'm going to do is I will do a control replace so that it, it actually inserts. Let us see if even without doing it, if I directly insert, will it do it or not? If it does that, it's easy. Uh, warning. Okay. See, it is giving me a timestamp warning. This is one of the problems because we have to use a conversion uh, conversion before before we put any any uh, time field because uh, while while preparing these files, they would have configured it. Uh, to be used uh, in a in a different environment where where the file date format was different. So what in general we do is instead of instead of uh, writing a, a conversion statement here, what we can do is we can say sysdate. If I am not wrong, sysdate is the one which should be used minus three sixty five. Let me see if this will get created. I don't remember if I need to put this bracket or not. So let me take it off. Because in data services, you'll have to put. Um, okay. Let me run it and see if it gets unknown fields. Is it? Okay. Um, let me run this in select. So, are, I mean, uh, did all of you guys got a chance whether to work system data in field list or not? Okay. Did ever you got a chance to run any of the queries and learn database base? Because um, it is very important. Without learning a database, you can't actually start working. So, it is this date with a bracket. So, If you are not familiar with database concepts, it is very tough for you to work. So, please do uh, spend some time insert error code duplicate entry. So, it already got inserted. So, what we are going to do is delete it and then reinsert with the proper date part. Hmm. Uh, it says that I'm using some safe mode. <laughs> I don't know what the safe mode is because I never set it by default. It should have been there. But no worries. Uh, all we'll have to do is now find this and replace it with uh, with the new format which I have put in there, which is the uh, this day minus 365 why I am doing a minus 365 I think you should be able to understand um, I am trying to insert a date and year back from the current date I am moving backwards and I have inserted a date that is for that particular item and wherever you have a date you will have to go and replace it only then only then it will work for you properly so here I see a date field. So do a control H. 